We propose a system in which a user sketches bone strokes on top of a video showing a performance by an arbitrary creature. A user selects a keyframe and draws a stroke. The strokes are tracked forward and backward in time at interactive rates. If a stroke was not tracked correctly, it can be refined by the user in a new keyframe. A circle shows a suggestion for the remaining length of the bone that facilitates drawing occluded bones. The user continues to draw keyframes until they are happy with the tracked result. Here, the animated 3D cheetah is shown next to the video from which it was created. Next, we show the static 3D shape. Here, the looped animated 3D shape from a novel view. A video of a running giraffe together with its reconstruction. And the 3D shape of one frame. Now shown in a loop. An elephant crossing the street and its reconstruction. A jumping dog with its reconstruction and a static frame. A kangaroo performing multiple jumps, its tracking result and the reconstruction. Now looped. Furthermore, we reconstructed previously virtual scenes such as this famous horse animation to compare our reconstruction to a reference. Note how the original 3D shape is reconstructed to be similar to the reference. The error analysis according to different metrics is shown in the paper. We do the same for a well known camel sequence. We solve a correspondence problem involving complex non-rigid motion and occlusions using a minimal amount of user input. Often, a single stroke is sufficient to track the unoccluded parts of the sequence you saw. Established optical flow solutions perform a more general task, but our comparisons indicate that they might not be the right tool for the challenge of the problem at hand. Our strokes can also be used to paint onto existing videos or transfer textures between species, producing this Chiba and Azita. Another application is to change the pose of the model. Having already extracted a reasonable animation skeleton, reposing it again becomes simple. Our representation easily allows us to blend between the reposed frame and the existing animation. Here we change the pose of the kangaroo tail. Note how the tail leaves the image plane as it was drawn shorter than its full length. Another application is to clone performances from videos into other modalities such as for augmented reality. Finally, here is a reconstruction of a walking zebra.